Welcome to Are You Paying Attention? Hello. Oh my god, we are like still spastically and crazy because we just watched yes. Thursday's live eviction, double eviction. <sighs> Shit Which, went down. This so this is a different video for us because we yeah. usually wait till after the Sunday episode. Right. So we're doing it a little early and a little different, but because there's just so much that happened and it was all exciting. Yeah. So this was a crazy week. Like we both were sad that Michelle was becoming a target, but mm -hmm. that she was also not really playing the game well yes. and like getting herself out of it. But yeah. oh my god, so much changed. She woke up. Yeah. yeah. She came to life, which was great. She really tried to use James's advantage yeah. to her advantage. Uh -huh. And she talked to some people, talked some game. How can I be a pawn for you? Yeah. You know who my targets are going to be. And uh, it became very clear that she's like a Big Brother super fan. She knows how to play this game. She knows that when you're on the well, block, you Well, I don't you know if she to... knows how to play this. <laughs> well, but like she knows that you In need theory. to campaign yeah. when you're on the block. Like we haven't seen a whole lot of campaigning mm -hmm. this season. People going around and saying, right. like, what can I do for you? How can I convince right. you to keep me here? Right. And she was doing and it. And we finally saw out. that. Yeah. yeah. Back and forth of do we save her? No, she's a liability. Right. Polly dead set on keeping Zakia. Yeah. Even though I gave him points for not taking her off the block. Yeah. But that's because he's too cocky. Yeah. Here's where we are now. We've been here for 60 days. Polly's been running it for a long time, yep. and you just, you, you're ego, you just like feel it. You just yep. feel invincible in and, the house. And that's when you start to dig your own grave. Yep. Because people are starting to catch on to Polly's game, and then as that starts to happen, he starts to get pissed off, right? Because mm -hmm. then people are calling him out, but yeah. he does, he's not used to being called out because he's oh. running this house. Yeah. So then he starts to say horrible sexist things. Let's I, just say he's being very offensive. Yes. People, I guess, are now seeing it. And like Michelle has said multiple times, you're blowing up your own game. I don't have to do it. Yeah, which, which is, is kind true. of true. I'll say that he left Zakia on the block because he was cocky and thought, if I don't want her to go, yeah. she's not going to yeah. go. Yeah, Michelle's a done deal. But enough back and forth, enough game from Michelle, and here we are with enough people in the house, including James, who has the ability to manipulate the votes, uh -huh. and we get an eviction of Zakia. Yep, three to two. It was a very close vote. We couldn't really gauge Polly's reaction to that. No, I couldn't tell. He immediately tell. hugged Zakia, pretended like they had been BFFs they the talked, entire time. Yeah, they hugged and talked for a couple minutes, like yeah. as if he really liked her. Yeah, right, and he's like, oh, I'll see you outside the house, which is right. never going to happen. Mm -hmm. She has the worst outgoing interview probably I've ever seen on Big Brother. So boring. I love that Julie was like, do you think that maybe you should have thought about your own game instead of someone else? And he, she was like, oh, I, don't I don't know. I give her the benefit of the doubt that she probably thought she was safe. Yes. She didn't know she had to talk to Julie yeah, today. Yeah, so she so was she probably not prepared. prepared. Right. Yeah. But she also had thought about playing the game either. So yeah. there we are. All right. Thank so, goodness she didn't have the return ticket. Yeah, and goodbye, Zakia. Bye-bye. So Thank now you. it's immediately into the next HOH competition, which is like so the fast. more or less game where they're flipping and answering things. Answering questions about Paul, things that have right. happened. And Polly gets eliminated right away. Thank goodness I cheer. Oh, yes. And then I think it was only maybe one or two questions after no, it was that. really, really quick. Yeah. Corey wins HOH. Corey wins, you guys. Corey, Corey. wins his first competition. Corey wins on a mental challenge. This is shocking all like, around. On what? so many levels, this is shocking. I mean, I think it was, we talked about it, it, it probably came down to luck because everybody on the Everyone panel guessed less except for him yeah. who said more and he was the winner. Just, so. he just made a dumb decision that happened to be right. Yep. Congratulations, I guess. Corey, Corey. puts up Michelle and Bridget. Yes. And we're not happy, right? That Corey's head of household because we're just tired of those we guys running everything. We know he's still in Polly's pocket. Like, yeah. we, that's why you know he's going to be in Polly's pocket, but I also don't know all of the things that have happened today. True. I know there were a million conversations that happened off camera today, and so I'm not 100% sure. You put up Michelle, and I think, well, is she still the target? But also, yeah. Bridget has clearly ticked off Polly, yes. so are we all going to now just say, oh, Polly doesn't like Bridget. They play a veto comp. They play the veto. Corey wins the veto. He decides not to use the veto. No Obviously. surprise there. So now it's coming down to Bridget and Michelle giving their speeches. Michelle gets up once again. Wait, first off, Michelle changes into a dress. Yes. And and Bridget's still in workout gear. So that is clear indication yeah. 
that Michelle is leaving. That she's convinced she's going home yeah. because she's in her on stage with Julie outfit, you know, right. and Bridget's still in her athletic clothes. Then she says her speech. Oh, and she just proceeds to just drop bombs all over the house. She says, like, my whole goal in staying was to blow up Holly's game, but I didn't even have to blow it up. He blew it up himself. And she's like, also, Nicole's, Nicole's a snake. A she tried to make a deal snake. with me, but you can't trust her. First day on, then blah, blah, blah. She, like, rattles them all off, just blowing up game. Because she thinks Call she's headed out the Nicole. door out yeah. big time then they go into vote and nicole literally says i don't know why but i'm voting for <laughs> to evict bridget <laughs> and i also we were like what yeah so we're confused by these votes yeah clearly paulie wanted bridget out yeah. so everyone mm -hmm. except for natalie voted to evict bridget yeah. natalie was the only like friendly vote yes to keep bridget and then boom the bomb drops that Bridget's leaving the house and Michelle doesn't even know what to do. She starts crying right away because she's now like considered Bridget a friend and she's like, oh my god, my friend is they going out the house. They were friends for a day, you guys. She just gets very emotional over those day-long friendships. And she just called people out and she's still yeah, in the house. Yeah, that's probably actually what she was yeah, crying she about. Was was like, like, why did I just ruin my own game? <laughs> So Bridget heads out the door. She also has a one-way ticket, so she's not going back in the game. She's headed to the jury house. What a day. What a week. It was I a mean, lot. It started out as a week that I was not looking forward to, yeah. and it ended up very, very interesting. I personally have been voting. It was a tough decision because I didn't know who to give the America's Care package to this week. Yeah. Because I just... There's no one left to get it that right. I really want to have it. But yeah. I eventually was like, you know what? Screw it. I hope Michelle stays in the house. I'm voting for Michelle. Yep. So that's who I've been voting for. I think it's going to be a mixed hodgepodge this week because no one really knew who was going to be yeah. around. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow online, we'll find out who actually got it. And we'll find out for sure on Sunday. And it's a big week because it's guaranteed safety. With this is the care package so so they're gonna play head of household right now tonight for the week and i, I just don't know where we go from here I, I people know about polly's game but you can't really publicly be against him for the most part you still have to like pretend you're he's still got solid we, alliances. we're good no we're good but yeah. you know that kind of stuff yeah. so it's gonna be hard to beat him in this hoh competition too yeah. like i'm not gonna be surprised if he wins hoh yeah today, this week. Because he can win when he needs to. What I would love is for a Michelle to win HOH. That would be great. I think that would be good for her game because she can start making that deals with people. That would be insane like, if she won. That would be so crazy. It'd probably be a little spastic, but all right, I'll take yeah. it. Yeah, but she's just happy to see Zingbot. That's I mean, honestly, I'm I'd really, I know, for. right? <laughs> I really would love to see a Natalie or a James HOH. That would be great. Maybe Paul. Maybe Paul's enough in the middle. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's hard when you only are rooting for a couple people in the house. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You guys, what did you think about this double eviction? This is crazy. What is happening in the house right now? Please tell us what you think and what is going to happen this week coming up. Yes. And remember to click that subscribe button and we'll be back next time. Bye. Bye.